Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Final Final Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting the mighty autopsy mental funeral. Fuck yes. Probably one of the best death metal records ever. Especially from 1991. You can't go wrong with mental funeral. If you're a fan of death metal, then you know this is one of the best death metal albums ever. I hold Autopsy Mental Funeral in a very high regard. As much as I love Severed Survival, I kind of think I like Mental Funeral a tiny bit more. Although Severed Survival just has one of my favorite bass tones ever, it's still as sick as it is was on Severed Survival here, but Mental Funeral, I just feel, has better written songs, but they're both amazing, amazing records, and everything up to shit fun, I feel like, was awesome. I'm not a big shit fun guy, but I'll tell you what type of guy I am. That's a fucking Grave Dust the Pale Hand guy. Wow. Now, I've been wanting to go over this demo since it came out. It's just, I could never get my hands on it. It was always sold out, sold out, sold out. And luckily, I was sent a copy, and we get to talk about it, which is fucking awesome. Because this is probably one of, if not the best death metal demos festering in the Portland, Oregon area from 2018. Like, this is very Vastum sounding, and I'm saying that in the best way possible. It's not just because they have a female vocalist. They straight up have that knuckle-dragging, heavy, fucking, autopsy-ish, like, vibe that Vastum do. And Grave Dust just do it very, very fucking well. And it's just catchy. And with the addition of, like, these weird, like, kind of horror movie-esque, like, little synth parts, it's awesome. Like, the way that it completes certain songs, it's like, huh, I wonder how that would have worked without the keyboard. Like, it's sick like that, and I give nothing but props to these six songs. I'm counting the intro track, but, like, Purgatory Alone, the last track on here, wow. Seriously, fucking wow. I really can't wait for this vinyl to get released, seriously. And I think, uh... Crypt of the Wizard Records will be handling that, and I think they might have a new cassette version of this. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this is a self-released version of the cassette for an upcoming show they had, and they had a couple extra copies, and my buddy sent one over, and I'm grateful for that. Thank you. But Dan and company here happen to have one of the sickest vocalists in the Portland area, and that is Josie Kinnaman, who absolutely kills it with her vocal delivery on here. And like I was saying, that's not the only Vastum comparison is the female vocals, as her vocals on here are her own. She doesn't sound like, you know, Layla at all. It's like fucking awesome. But everything about The Pale Hand by Grave Dust is fucking awesome. From Charlie's production at Underworld Studios to the cover art here, which I think is amazing, by Timothy Hoyer. Like, imagine that on 12 inches. It would be so fucking sick. And I just dig a band that just, like, has taken the knuckle-dragging heaviness of Vastum, but, like, added their own elements of, like, just awesome fucking sleaze and just horror and gore-riddled death metal. It's just a slime-drenched slab of awesomeness. Like, I don't know what to really tell you to win you over when it comes to Grave Dust, but if you liked that Malignant Altar demo, this is kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum, as this is a lot more, like, 
rooted in bands like Autopsy, Vastum, that just knuckle-dragging, like, caveman riffing, and it's awesome. I fucking love it. But, like, throw, like, the blast beats in, which Vastum don't have, and it's like, whoa, this is awesome. Everything about Gravehand, Grave Dust, I'm sorry. I keep saying Gravehand because the name of the album, is, well, the EP or demo, The Pale Hand, I keep, I mean Grave Dust. If I said Gravehand a couple times on here, I apologize. But I, I mean Grave Dust. And The Pale Hand is the name of the demo or EP, whatever you want to call this. Because to me, this is an EP. It sounds great, like it looks great. Very, very well done tape and whatnot. The J card is amazing. You get lyrics, which is always a plus. I love reading like lyrical content and stuff. And here's like real fucking, I just love how sick some of these vocals are. Like they're really, really good. Like especially like the chase. Just like serious stuff and like it's gnarly too, like just brutal. Like you have the chase, ritual glow, the pale hand, rotting with evil, and my favorite track, Purgatory Alone, which shows that Grave Dust can transcend death metal if they really wanted to, and can kind of do whatever the fuck they wanted if they really wanted to. It just happens that these maniacs love death metal. And that's what this release is. The Pale Hand is a death metal release for fans of death metal. Grave Dust fucking have their shit together here and... Oh, man. This is so fucking good with the rotted riffing and vibes that will have you just banging your head into oblivion. Grave Dust, The Pale Hand, one of the best releases of last year. And if you can get a copy, fucking grab this sleazy, slime-drenched slab of fucking gore into your fucking hands and onto your cassette deck ASAP, as this fucking rules. Grave Dust, The Pale Hand, fuck yeah. I can't wait to hear more from these fucking lunatics. Seriously, because they definitely have a trick or two up their sleeves that not a lot of death metal bands are doing right now, and that is using outside elements and adding it to their already fucking devastating sound and definitely one-of-a-kind vocal delivery as, like I was saying, Josie Kinnaman has her own distinctive style of vocals and they fit so well with what Grave Dust are doing here on the Pale Hand and that's why I am not kissing ass. This is seriously one of the best death metal releases of 2018. I just didn't get my hands on it till last week. So fucking A. Thank you Grave Dust. Everyone in the band fucking rules. Right now, I'm not sure what their lineup is. That's why I'm not really dropping names. But, um, Josie Kinnaman, though, on vocals. Keep an eye out for that name, as she's just amazing. And everything about this release is fucking sick. Six tracks of just knuckle-dragging, fucking awesome, slimy death metal. With that nice little fucking horror movie vibe to it. it it's awesome and just the artwork alone everything about this release is just grade a fucking death metal and like i was saying definitely one of the best releases of 2018 brave dust the pale hand and hopefully this does end up getting its vinyl release from Crypt of the Wizard Records. I will put links below and everything, so hopefully you guys and girls can get a copy of this beast. The Pale Hand by Grave Dust. Fucking grade A 
death metal right here. This slab of filth is just so fucking good. 10 out of 10. I love this stuff. Get into it. The Pale Hand by Grave Dust. And we were blasting the legendary Mental Funeral by Autopsy. Fuck yeah. This is an album that never gets old. Like, seriously. Unlike Chris's Cornrows, I apologize, but yeah. Unlike Chris's Cornrows, Mental Funeral fucking will rule for all the foreseeable future. In case you're new to death metal, I highly recommend checking out Mental Funeral because this is essential death metal listening. And also, if you're just diving into the demo game and whatnot, yo, this is a banger right here. Trust me. Grave Dust, The Pale Hand. Fuck yeah. And as always, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. You fucking rule. Hells. Yeah.